Welcome back everyone. So, if you're wondering first of all how Chico is, he is doing amazing. He's just down here, just playing with one of his little toys at the moment. Hasn't he grown? Say hello to the camera Chico. Say hello. Hey, look at that. He's just, oh yeah, was that, that was nearly a little wave. I'm going to count that as a little wave. We'll just say it's a little wave, even though he just knocked his toy out of it. But yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. So today I want to teach a extremely simple card trick, which um, I kind of teach people uh, when I do gigs, when they say, oh, can you teach me a trick, teach me a trick. This would be one of the tricks I teach them. However, I then produce a killer ending, which then, yeah, completely mind boggles everyone and it creates more gigs and everything like that. It's the easiest trick. However, it's got the most killer ending so be sure to stay to the end to find out what the killer ending and trust me on this one this will get you gigs shows whatever you want to do it just mind blows everyone and the best thing is you're teaching someone who's generally interested in magic a trick themselves but then you just fool them again so it's a double fooler um, so yeah grab a deck of cards and let's get into this First of all, I haven't handled a pack of cards in ages, so my handling is going to be dreadful, but that doesn't really matter. So, give them a shuffle, give them a cup, do whatever you want with the deck of cards. Now, this is a four ace trick, and like I said, you've got to stay to the end to find out the final trick. Now, this is one of the first tricks I learned as well, and what you're going to do is ask the spectator to cut the deck in half, roughly then half again, then half again with this deck. So you're roughly making around four even piles. Doesn't have to be exact, doesn't really matter. You're just making four piles for the spectator. Now, this trick is all based on the storyline. So I'm just going to give you my storyline. So I say, first of all, have you ever been to a casino or played any casino games at all? Majority of people have been to a casino, or especially in this country. So they say yes. I'm like, right, a casino, they don't just use one deck, they use four decks. So that's what we're doing. We're pretending we've got four decks. Now, at casinos, they're really, really like conscious of people counting cards. So they, that's why they use the four decks, but they give each deck a special little shuffle. They take the top three cards off each deck, put them at the bottom of the deck, and then they put one card on another pile. Now it doesn't matter what pile they do, so you pass that on to Spectator, take three cards at bottom, you can go this order now, a little bit of a mixture, so on, so on. So you've, it really stops anyone counting cards at a casino. But at a casino, there's only really one card spectators are really looking for. Now what, what card do spectators always want at a casino? Of course, they're gonna reply the ace. If you manage to find one ace, you've done a pretty good job. If you manage to find two aces, you've done even better. You've got a pair. You produce the three of a kind. Now how amazing would it be if you could predict all four aces? You'd win at the casino every single time. And that is the four ace routine. So let's just learn how this trick works before I get into the killer ending, which this would be exactly it. I would teach the spectator how to do this trick. I wouldn't explain them any false shuffles though, but just for you guys, um, it really is just some couple of false shuffles, whatever false shuffles you want. You want the four aces at the top of the deck. That's what I'd explain to a spectator. I won't mention anything about the shuffling, but now to you guys, like I said, when you're shuffling, you're just leaving a block off there. So it's keeping the four aces at top. Whatever little cut you want, whatever fake cut, it keeps them all there. Um, that's just a quick, quick little fooler or do whatever you want. Just keeping the four aces always on there. So, once you've done whatever cut shuffles you want, spectator, you say you've got them in four. All you need to do is cut roughly in half and remember where the aces are. So you cut them in half, cut them in half, cut them in half. So they're always here. Now that is going to be the last deck they use. So you start off by explaining to them that you're going to take three cards 
and then one on each pile, so on, so on. Then let the spectator hand them the deck. They do that, whatever, three, but always make sure it's three. You wanna be careful with your spectators as well. Some people will try and mess you up. It's up to you whether you wanna do the final deck or whether you're confident a spectator will not mess up the final one. So you've put three cards, random cards on top of this now. So as long as they do the three cards to the bottom and not try and screw you up, you're just putting the one ace over each of the decks and then that one stays on there and it's done for you. And that is the trick. Now the killer, the killer one that I use all the time, which, yeah, this is just gonna blow minds. So, what you need is four duplicate aces. You need four other aces in your pocket, on your lap, whatever you're doing, however you perform. What you're gonna do is, you need to know how to cop a card for starters. So. For me, I'm always standing up when performing, not like this, sat down. So, I'd have the four aces that we've just done the trick. I'm like, okay, you're going to do everything now. You shuffle them up, they shuffle them up, blah, blah, blah. They look through the deck, they can see the aces are there randomly. Whilst talking and everything like that, I'm going to steal those cards, whether I'm having them in palm or whether I'm copying them, depending on who I'm performing. And then, you're going to ask for the cards back, as you go from here, you're going to take them. You've got to be careful on angles here, like I said, whether you palm it or whether you cop them. And then you're just putting them on top. Most people, once they've looked through the cards and you've explained, look, you shuffled them, you can see the aces are everywhere, let's see if we can do it again. They will hand you the cards like this, so it goes automatically onto the top of the deck. Some people will, let's just get all the aces, turn them back over and hand them to you like that. That way, all you got to do is just keep hold of it, keep hold of them, and just do a simple rotation, and just go, look, they're still there, place them on the table, whatever, very quick, very easy, and you just go for the cuts and everything again, and then you do the whole routine again, and because you've just dumped four aces on there, it's completely blown their mind, because they know the aces weren't at the top a second ago, and that they were shuffled. However, you can't let them look through the deck again after. You do have to get it away but i've never had anyone want to look at the deck again after so it was meant to be a quick little video but i know it dragged on quite a little bit but it's a very very easy 4 a routine and if you're confident enough you can turn that 4 a routine into something else i think it's time for me to go i think chica wants to play you have a look at do you want to play with the ball chica you want to play with the ball ready 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 go on and there he goes. So, I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to play with this little man because he takes up so much time. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for staying by and tuning in.